The invariant s squared has a physical significance, which it's helpful to remember. If we think about what the definition of the invariant is, remember that s squared is defined as c times delta t squared minus delta x squared minus delta y squared minus delta c squared, and we're talking about the separation between any two space-time points described by x, y, z, and t. And even though x, y, z, and t will all change when we go from one reference frame to another, the invariant has the same value. Looking at this expression, it's somewhat reminiscent of the length of a three-dimensional vector, r squared, which is just uh, defined as the sum of the squares of the individual changes. We can write the Lorentz transformation in a following matrix form. I invite you to verify for your, this for yourself. If we represent the four dimensions of a, of, or four components of a spatial and space and time uh, position, with CT at the top and X, Y, and Z all together making a column vector, then the transform coordinates with the, in the prime reference frame are related to the untransformed coordinates in the unprime frame by the following matrix. And notice that there's a square block up here with betas and gammas, and then there's a diagonal component with just one. This is a lot like when we have an ordinary three-dimensional vector and we decide to rotate the coordinate axes for that vector, or that describe that vector, around one of the axes, let's say the z-axis. In other words, I pick a new frame where I've simply rotated x and y by spinning around the z-axis. In that case, the prime reference frame is related to the unprime coordinates by the following rotation matrix. And notice the block of angles up here and then one along the diagonal elsewhere. In the case of a rotation matrix, even though x, y, and z are all changing, the length of a vector delta x squared plus delta y squared plus delta z squared is the same whether it's computed in the unprimed or the primed reference frame. In this sense, we can think of the invariant s squared in special relativity as the length of now a vector that is in four dimensions. Even though the four components are changing for this vector, the length of the vector defined as s squared is an invariant under this rotation. What's unusual then is to think about the transformation between two moving reference frames as equivalent to a rotation in a four-dimensional superspace.